Hey, hey, happy people. So today we are going to be making an alkaline soy sauce because this is also a substitute you need in some recipes, especially vegan recipes. They use a lot of soy, so you need to be able to substitute it. And one of the things they use a lot of is vegan soy sauce. So, I mean, well, soy sauce because soy sauce is vegan. But uh, they use soy sauce in a lot of their things. So to make an alkaline one today so we can substitute that whenever uh, we have a recipe that calls for soy sauce. So to get started here because I don't want my broth to uh, cool off, we have to do a couple things. We have to uh, blend it and then boil it and strain it and all that stuff. So to start off, I have three dates here that have just been pitted and we're going to throw those in there. And I got tamarind paste. This is um, just pure tamarind concentrate paste. If you have the pods, you can use those. I would suggest boiling those with your uh, mushrooms when you're making your mushroom broth so that way you can pull the little seeds out of them. Or don't put them in the blender. Wait till you're doing it in the pot to, uh, con to uh, reduce it and then you can strain it out later. But you don't want to put the whole pot in here with that seed because it's going to mess your blender up. But if you have paste or you have the uh, blocks, I've seen the blocks and I think I got one too, you can pinch off a little block, not too much because tamarind is very bitter. We want the bitter taste but not too much of it. So let's put that in there. Tamarind. I always say tamarind, but it's tamarind. Very concentrated. And I got a teaspoon of sesame oil here. You can use whatever oil you have, except for like olive oil and coconut oil, but whichever one has a high heat temp. But I prefer the sesame oil. It has that Asian flair to it, and we all know sesame. We all know that uh, soy sauce is an Asian thing, so. Next I got two teaspoons of key lime juice. And then we have our seasonings here. I got sea salt, ginger, onion powder, and I have sea moss powder. I don't have any sea moss gel right now. My sea moss is literally sitting over there soaking. So we're just going to use powder this time. If you have gel, you can use that. Either one is fine. Alright, and now we're going to add our mushroom broth. This is uh, just some mushrooms that I boiled down. They were a, it's a half of a portobello and like a handful of the Namiko mushrooms, but whatever mushrooms you have, the ends of your mushrooms and things like that when you're cooking and you don't use that, keep it, throw it in the freezer. You can put it in some water and just boil it down with a little salt and you'll have your mushroom broth. Try to use uh, warm right off the stove if you can broth so that way it will help to um, blend the, soften and blend the dates. And now we're just going to blitz this up. Be careful because that top is going to be hot from the mushroom broth. Now we're just going to take this out of here and pour it in a saucepan. And move that out of the way. Turn our fire on here and move this over. And now we're just going to bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to uh, boil it just till you see a reduction in it and it gets uh, a little thicker for you, but not too thick because soy sauce is not that thick, but you want it to be a little darker, as dark as you can get it, and to reduce a little bit so it'll condense those flavors for you. So we're just going to let that come to a boil. Okay, so we are back. It's been about 10 minutes. I've let this uh, continue to boil on a rolling boil and it has reduced significantly. So at this point, you just want to uh, taste it, see how you like it. If you need to add any more uh, ingredients or a little more broth or something to thin out your ingredients. I just got through tasting mine. Um, 
I did add one more teaspoon of the tamarind uh, paste and I added another teaspoon of salt because it wasn't salty enough and we all know that uh, soy sauce is very salty. So now we're just going to turn this off. I'm going to move this over here. Again, I say don't try this at home, boys and girls. Moving that hot thing. And what we're going to do now is we're going to strain it to get that as many other bits and pieces out as we can. I actually have two strainers. Like I have this one, but sometimes with the dates they get through. So I have this little one that I said just on top of it. Sometimes they still get through that too because they're just small pieces. But strain as much as you can out. If you have a cheesecloth, you can do it that way too. I'm just not going to use one because it just takes too long to clean afterwards. So now, and this should be almost like a syrup-like. Almost, but not syrup. And we're just going to strain this through this bowl. There we go, and so you get quite a bit of uh, pulp left in there, so you definitely want to strain it as much as possible. And then I just take this one and strain it through that one, that way get as much flavor as I can. Okay, so now we have strained it all out, and we're just going to funnel it into a little mason jar here so we can put it in the refrigerator. And there it is. I don't know if you guys can see how dark that is, but that is your alkaline soy sauce. It's not going to be completely dark, like almost black, like regular soy sauce, because we're not using fermented soy beans and things like that. So, but this is definitely a substitute for soy sauce. So now you have alkaline soy sauce that you can substitute in recipes that calls for soy sauce. So when you're making your stir fries or Asian dishes or things like that, you can definitely use this as a substitute. So just put this in the refrigerator. I usually, uh, any, most of the things that I make uh, like this, I try to put them in the refrigerator and let them sit overnight before I use them. So I'm just going to put this in the refrigerator and I'm still going to use it today because I want to make another recipe today. So make sure you guys stay tuned, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll know exactly what that recipe is and when it drops so you can see what I use this for. But I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. And then I'm going to come back and the recipe that I make, I'll use this uh, soy sauce in place of regular soy sauce. So, alkaline soy sauce. Give me a like if you like this recipe and stay tuned for the next video. And until next time, people, stay happy.